So let's look at SVD in more detail. SVD is matrix factorization. We already had SVD before. It decomposed our matrix, our data matrix into three parts. And it was exact. At least if the data isn't like completely degenerate. So um, like complex data, maybe not. But on real data, it should be fine. And we have u that is square. We have a, a v that is square. And we have a non-square matrix that is diagonal in the middle. So it was a decomposition into three parts. But of course, we can, for example, multiply these and call this one w and this one h. Then we have that. Or we can call this one w and this combination h, depending on what you want. And then we can get back into the framework that we had before. Or we can decompose sigma by taking the square root of the diagonal entries and putting them on both sides. And we are more on the PCA side. So there, there are different ways of um, interpreting this in uh, the context of the previous version. And then we can also do the truncation. And if we truncate this, we get the, the smaller matrices. And then we get the approximation. Then this won't be exact anymore, usually. I mean, if you truncate zeros, it will be fine. So um, and the, it had additional constraints, which is also interesting. We didn't have this in the previous slide, but here we require that u must be orthogonal and w must be orthogonal. Or presenting orthonormal, so it must be no scaling involved because we have all the scaling in the diagonal. This is a pretty strong constraint. And that is one that we may need to drop or want to drop. Do we need topics to be orthogonal? No, topics could probably overlap. So that is something that we might be willing to, to lose. Now, in singular value decomposition, we do have an optimization problem. And if we sort the eigenvalues in, this, in a descending order, we can look at the case order approximation that uses only the first k vectors, the first k diagonal entries. And we want, for each k, we want this to be the optimal approximation to the data. That is why we need to sort them in a descending order. And this is like the rank k approximation to our data. And that is our original data. And now we are looking at the squared error, squared reconstruction error. That is our quality measure that we obtain by doing SVD. We're not going to look the, into the algorithm how this is obtained here. In particular, if you want to do this numerically and truncate it, it gets quite massive, messy and it tends to get unstable if you go to the small eigenvalues. But the property that is interesting is that for every k, this is the optimum least squares approximation. And that means we can incrementally refine our approximation by adding another column. So our approximation of rank k is the sum over all the rows that we have. So it is our previous approximation plus one row, one eigenvalue, one column. That's the new zoomant that we get if we add increase k. And the residuals, our approximation error, there's probably a square missing in here. Now we, we, we have the squared eigenvalues in here, so there should be a square in here and in here and in here, and probably in here. So in itself, it's consistent, but it is not an eigenvalue, but the squared eigenvalue that we have 
defined. So um, the residuals of our approximation error is based directly on these um, eigenvalues. So um, that is an interesting property. And it is a strong property that SVD is the optimum, or truncated SVD is the optimum approximation given these constraints. So we can do this on real data. So I've been looking at such factors on, of an image in this case, because images are always nice to visually represent. And now I've been multiplying this part in here. So one vector in U, one vector in, w, in V, and one scalar for the first eight components of decomposing this picture. And I get approximations. But the, here I can't see a lot. The reason is the first one is too coarse. That's a too rough approximation. I can't recognize, recognize anything in here. And I would need to add the remaining ones. Right now I'm drawing one at a time. But instead I should be drawing the cumulative. And then I get this. So now I'm drawing the sum of 1 to k over the images. Now you can see that this one, first component wasn't bad. It's just as good as I can get with a single component. And as I add more components, eventually we can get something that becomes recognizable slowly. So um, that is a very famous um, German kids TV character, which is a mouse currently in a space suit to some, uh, a few years ago there was an anniversary where they um, did this. I don't know if I have a higher resolution image in here, but that's the nose of the mouse down here, that's the eyes, that is the astronaut's helmet. So um, it is quite decent. And that is the le best least squares approximation we can get with eight vectors. And there exists image compression techniques based on this idea. So we can add more components. So yes, I have a higher quality version. That's five components, 10 components, 20, and 50. And you can see that with 50 components, we have very closely the original image an interesting property is I can do this incrementally. I can load the first component, begin rendering the image, load the next component, refine the image, load another component, and it gets sharper as I get load more data. So it's an interesting technique for incremental loading of the data and incrementally improving the approximation quality. So that is SVD. Nevertheless, we want to improve this um, in the next version. That is the error that you get. And you can see there is still some error remaining, but that is the approximation error. And any questions? Are, are there certain types of 